What's up everyone? I am going to make myself something for lunch and I'm going to bring you guys with me. Um, I usually make big meals. I'm just going to make me, it actually, uh, it's, it's something that I put together at Sonny's Barbecue. Um, you know, I usually get like the beef or the pork and the garlic bread. I use the Sonny's sauce and some coleslaw. So I'm going to make myself, I have to, um, let me grab the, um, the garlic bread and I'm gonna make myself like a little Sonny's garlic bread type of thing that I something that I put together at Sonny's and I always eat and I'm gonna make it at home and see how it turns out I bought some roast beef like lunch meat but I think that if I heat it up a little bit and put it on top it might might be close to the same but I'm gonna bring you guys with me and um, we'll see if it's the same that got the box got beat the heck in the in the in the deep freezer. <laughs> All right, so um, I might be able to cook this in my air fryer. I'm not sure. The garlic bread might not get too hard. I think I'll just cook it in the air fryer. It's this toaster oven. I'm just gonna put two pieces of garlic bread in the air fryer. Goodness, gotta get rid of the get the air fryer out and get rid of the toaster. This morning I had a bagel. Now it's lunchtime. And I've been wanting to try this, so God, this thing is dusty. We haven't used this in a while. Let me turn you guys around. So oops. I got the um faithful air fryer out. Boy, this thing ain't been cleaned for God knows how long. Yeah, let me clean it first. A little nasty looking. Oh, goodness. God, I think, I think I, oh, you guys got dark. You guys got real dark. why it's so dark all right guys so I think that I need a new new um, air fryer this one's just disgusting inside it's clean but it's yucky all right so these are really small garlic breads the ones you get at Sonny's barbecue are gigantic so I'm gonna make two of them um, and um, hopefully it turns out Oop. I don't know why the camera keeps getting dark. All right, guys, so these garlic breads are teeny compared to the gigantic ones at Sunny's. I'm gonna make two of them. All right, where's the thing at? Right, see it? Plugged in? Plugged in. Usually that thing comes up. Maybe I do need a new one. Maybe this one's not even going to come on. Let me unplug it and plug it back in. Definitely not coming on. Didn't it just come on? Didn't it just be? Well, I might have to put them in the oven because I think this thing just kicked the bucket. What in the heck's going on? Usually, it pops up on the front of the screen. Dang it. I washed it and it stopped working. <laughs> oh, well. I don't know. I don't know what the heck's wrong with it. Might have to put them in the oven. Because I don't have a toaster oven. I don't know if you can put that in the toaster. Can you put it in the toaster?
don't know what's going on. Alright, unplug. The other things are plugged. Oh, I heard it. I don't see the light, but I heard it. There it is, yay! Okay. So I'm thinking five minutes. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire. I don't know why it wouldn't come on, why it, why it wasn't coming on. Doesn't make sense. Okay, so let me get the ingredients out. I got some, the camera is just so dark. I think it's because it's the way it was facing. I got some seasoned Angus roast beef. And I got some sweet coleslaw. I got this from Publix. I got this from Sam's. And up here, I have some Sunny's barbecue sauce. Some sweet Sunny's barbecue sauce. Somewhere. Maybe. Oh, it's right here in front of my face. So I got the Sunny's barbecue sauce. You can buy this at the market down here. I don't know about where you guys live. Um, it's actually really good. Um, so I will show you, once the garlic bread is done, I'll show you what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna sit down and eat it. Because I'm hungry and I gotta take my medicine. So, um, I'll see you back here when this gets done. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, the garlic bread's done. Let me get a plate. I'm gonna point you guys down. There's the plate, and here's the stuff I'm gonna be using on it. Let me get this Sunny's barbecue open. Let me make sure these, the bread's done. Yeah, it's good enough. It's good enough. It's very hot, so I might have to let it cool a tad. Um, I was going to heat this roast beef up, but I think I'm not going to heat it up. I think I'm just going to leave it. Louie, are you okay? You okay, buddy? Do you hear Louie snorting? Okay. So, the first thing that I normally do is I put the Sunny's barbecue sauce on the bun. Now, this is me, and this might not be everybody's something everybody likes to do but I've done this every since every time I go to Sonny's I do this I don't really like their their beef anymore it's kind of fatty at Sonny's and it's so damn expensive to go there so normally I have like a little squeeze thing so this is gonna put it out whole put a couple drops on there okay and um, let's see that was in the let me just spread it around. This gives it some flavor. I don't know what you're seeing. Hopefully you're seeing it. I made a mess. I probably put too much. Then I'm going to put my roast beef. And like I said, you can heat this roast beef up if you want to. Or you don't have to. I think I'm actually going to heat it up. really cold. I think I'm just going to put a few pieces on the um, plate and just heat it up. But just, just take the chill off of it. 20, 20 seconds might be too long. We'll see. Oh, that roast beef smells so good. And we take the cold slaw I usually put the cold slaw on. Here, let me get this back out. That's good. I don't want it to be too hot. Um, oh, so now it's warm. So I'm gonna lay the cold, lay this on here, just like that. I probably only needed two pieces, but 
Mmm. It's so good. I'm gonna put it like that. Then I'm gonna pile the cold slaw on top of it. Actually, I'm gonna put some more sunnies, just a teeny bit. Like I said, the sunnies is usually, it's usually in a squeeze bottle at sunnies. So this is like more, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. And then I'm gonna pile the cold slaw on top. So let me know if you guys have ever tried this with anything. I mean, let me know what you put cold slaw on top of. Because maybe you guys put cold slaw on top of something that that I might want to put cold slaw on top of. I might want to at least try. It's good on pork. It's good on beef. Just like this. There we go. And that's my lunch. Simple. Quick. Very quick. I'll see you out there at the dinner table. All right, everyone. So now we get to show, here it is. Quick, easy, fast lunch. Now we get to show that we have a big mouth, that we can open our mouth up and get this in our mouth. I don't have the other light on that I had on before, so it's, it's dark. Mmm. It's good. It's good. It's really good, guys. I've been on this diet, so I don't know. My stomach's kind of strong. I hope I can eat two of them. Mmm. You might need more than one half napkin. <laughs> it's really good. Got my coconut water. It's got lots of potassium in it. And it tastes really, really good. This brand. I didn't like the other brands. So if you're going to try it, try this brand. I think next time I would only make one, but it's really good. That roast beef is from Sam's and it's, it's, it's delicious and it's got a great smell to it. Every time I go to Sunny's Barbecue, I make one of these. Whether it's with pork, beef, chicken, whatever. It's really good. Except for their garlic bread. It's like that. It's probably the size of both of these. This sweet um, coleslaw from Publix is really good too. And it was only $4 for that thing. How many of you guys do this? How many put coleslaw on top of their you know, whatever they're going to eat. Some cold slaws are not real good. This one's really pretty good.
I probably could have just ate one. I might have to save the other one for later. It's very good. It's good with real, with pulled chicken or shredded chicken. All right, guys. I know this was short. This was probably really short. It's probably like fifteen minutes or something. But it was just a quick lunch, something to hold me over, you know, till I eat dinner. I don't always eat breakfast and lunch. This morning I ate a half of I ate a half of a half a bagel. Um, I never cook a whole bagel because I know I'm not going to be able to eat it. I only ate half of the half. Half, you know what I mean? Like the one whole side, but I only ate half of it. Um, and then this for lunch. Maybe I barely keep enough to keep keep a bird alive. My mama used to say that to me. You barely eat enough to keep a bird alive. Um, I don't know. I just get full really quick. <laughs> I gotta get working on videos. I have so many videos. I think I have like eight or nine spooky videos to edit. I got backyard videos to edit. Cooking videos to edit. Videos of me and Shirley to edit. <laughs> my mind, I don't know what the hell's wrong with my mind. I will walk out of a room. I'll go to do something and I'll walk out of the room. And and then I start doing something out there and I, and I don't remember. I came home with a bunch of groceries the other day. I put them on the counter. And I must have went outside to do something. And when I stayed out there, I was out to tell us, was you going to put this food away? I'm like, I don't know. I guess I forgot. I get sidetracked so easy. This was delicious. Really, really good. Yay. Nobody should be home. Louie thinks somebody's home. Nobody's home, buddy. <laughs> All right, well, that was delicious. I'm going to probably save the other half for later. I hope the bread doesn't get soggy. I love you guys. I know it was short, but I'll see you on the next video. Peace.